Now to that big story, a dangerous confrontation between the United States and Russia, an incident that National Security Council spokesman John Kirby called unsafe, unprofessional, and reckless. The Pentagon spokesman saying today that a Russian fighter jet struck the propeller of a U.S. surveillance drone in international airspace, forcing it to crash into the Black Sea. President Biden has been briefed, and the Russian ambassador was summoned to the State Department. CBS's David Martin has new details from the Pentagon. U.S. drones flying surveillance missions over the Black Sea are often intercepted by Russian fighters, but never like what happened today. A Russian jet approached from the rear, dumping fuel. U.S. officials believe it meant to come up in front of the drone so it would fly into the fuel cloud, but pulled up too soon and clipped the drone's propeller, which is located in the rear. The drone's controllers could do nothing but let it glide into the sea. They collided with the aircraft, damaging the propeller uh, and essentially uh, putting in a situation where it was unflyable and uncontrollable. It happened 75 miles southwest of the Crimean Peninsula, a part of Ukraine seized by Russia. For more than half an hour, two Russian jets made a total of 19 passes on the unarmed drone, popping up in front to blast it with their jet exhaust and trying to drench it with fuel. On the final pass, the Russian pilot missed his approach. Just bad piloting, one official said. U.S. officials believe the Russians were dumping the fuel in an attempt to damage the drone. Now the Pentagon wants to recover the wreckage before the Russians get to it, but they're operating at a disadvantage since there are no U.S. Navy ships in the Black Sea. Nora? David Martin, thank you.